Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan. This is the Android App Show episode number 68. This week we're going to be talking about, I don't know, some patents and the possible downfall of Android. A real downer. Let's get it going. Let's go! (laughs) Welcome to the Android App Show. Welcome to the show, everyone. Got a pretty exciting week going on uh, this week. A new camera angle we're trying out. Yeah, it's this camera angle. It's uh, the the above shot. Hey, everybody. Hey, up there in the studio, in the balcony. See, we're showing the full depth of our studio here, how how tall it is that we have. Yeah, a, big time. We're getting studio envy. Yeah, I guess everybody's like podcasts. everybody's getting their new studios, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, spending money, Yeah, whatever. We don't make that much, no. so you know we just don't have the stuff to pour into studios. But I think uh, at least our fans tell us we do uh, pretty good for what we have. Yes, so I'm pretty proud of that. You can't buy this personality. No, you can't. They don't. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to sell it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and when we can barely afford clothing, apparently. Yeah. In this yeah, I, I found out I'm gonna have to retire this shirt. It oh, has, you can uh, see it on that angle. Yeah. Oh, I gotta yeah. go back. I got a, I, I've got holes like on the top edge up here. I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that work you've been doing, Lane. You've been working, working your know, shirt I just off. Work my working, way through the shirt. Working the shirt off your back. Yeah, it's funny too because it's like this didn't come pre-faded. Like <laughs> this was a solid color. You so, bought it when it was came out. Yeah, the shirt's kind of old. Is so that an whatever. original? No, no, first no. run. No, okay. the original is almost as old as I am. I know. That would be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. They don't. They don't make them like they used to. No. And, and really, I blame my wife about this. I'm like, you know, I can't believe she let me go out of the house. Usually, she's the first one that's like. Ah. But I guess in her defense, she does stand about a head shorter than me, <laughs> so it'd be hard to get an angle on that. Oh wow! Yeah, but not the backside though. The that was. <laughs> that's just straight up her fault. Apparently, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't watch you walk out of the house. She doesn't watch the shows. She she sees enough of me as it is, so <laughs> so I'll talk smack about her. I love her. That's great. <laughs> well, would you love her so much to send her something in the mail? Uh, yes, I would. Absolutely. That gets us to our first app of the week, and Lane has something really interesting that bridges the gap between technology, uh, web, uh, web meme, or modern yeah. technology <laughs> trend, and old school horse and pony express yeah you can go clear back to the early days uh you can take a picture with your phone now and send it as a snail mail using postagram so it's kind of you know in the same vein of instagram you take pictures blah 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 it's pretty cool yeah uh so you kind of get that a gram thing or whatever or i don't know maybe it's like telegram oh yeah i don't know but it's uh it's a a postcard totally so I guess I'll, I can bring up the app here. It's free to download, uh, and then you just pay ninety nine cents per uh, postcard that you send within the United States. There's some higher fees for the rest. So this is kind of like a picture of it, uh, the postcard, and they do a three by three image that punches out of the postcard, and you get to type in a hundred and forty character uh, limit. So I'm gonna go ahead and. I click up here to take a picture. So let me take a picture of Dave. Chilling in the studio, Dave. And there's the picture. So I was going to ask me if I want to approve it. I'll say okay. And then you have to select your 3x3 three three area. You might want to keep that in mind when you're making the picture. Yeah. So let's do that. Hit save. Shows you the layout. Type here to personalize your message. So I'm going to go with uh, Dave in studio. So then once you do that, uh, you can add 
uh, let's see an avatar so I'm gonna do a camera and switch to the front here take a picture of myself so there's my uh, self picture that's pretty funny No. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Okay. A little bit of zoom uh, funniness here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scroll that bad boy down. We'll cut off some of the the baldness. Uh-huh. Nice. So, once you're done, let's see, we got that on there. It shows your picture and your name over here in the corner of your postcard and your message. Cool. Hit continue. I'll cover that up because that's fine. You can add an address. I'm trying to hit that. So then once it comes up here, I can show it again. You'll type in a name and a shipping address. So we'll do Dave. And we'll do Hello Street. Uh, downtown. Or no, it says... Zip code, so we'll do 49201, even though I know that that's not his zip code. Yeah. Anonymity. Oh. Oh. Caxon. So it's freaking out because I used a fake address. Normally it doesn't say that. I gotta cover that up again. Everybody pause. Look at my real address. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> so, and then you have to put in a credit card number. Boom. Oh. Bah, 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 bah. Blah, blah, blah. No in-app purchasing. They don't want to blah, blah, blah. have uh, Google get a cut blah, blah. of whatever. So. so, will this also post it to Instagram? Uh, I don't think so. Because that would be pretty sweet. Like, does it integrate at all with Instagram? Is there any integration? No. I'm going to go out on the limb and say no, I don't think so. I think it's just the name. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because I created an totally account sure. with these guys. There was nothing about linking up an Instagram account. You sure? Yeah. That's weird. Did, did it do a little effect on that image too? No, it looks no. like it. It's just I'm that old looking. Yeah. That's awesome. Which is a pretty good postcard. If I was uh, in the sending mood, I'd send this to you, Dave. Uh-huh. Uh, but the cool thing is this 3x3 three three picture here yeah. actually is perforated. You can punch it out oh, that's cool. and hang it up. Or you can just hang the whole postcard up. That would be cool if it was like a sticker or something. Yes, that would be cool. If it was like a postcard sticker? Oh, you could just put some tape on the back looped around and that would totally. be a sticker. Or put a hole in it and wear it as a necklace. Oh, man. That there would be kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a dead simple app. It's like the you know one thing that it does. Uh, but I think it's pretty cool. I think the next time that we're off on a you know a family trip or something, it would be nice mm -hmm. to be able to take a picture and send out a a postcard. Yeah. Especially if you're on a trip long enough that the postcard can get to wherever before you get back. Uh, I think that would be pretty cool. That is cool. That's very so, cool. Uh, check that out. It's for free. For uh, the Android market. For real. And uh, it's just 99 cents for each one if you're in the United States. Uh, check it out. Even if you're in other countries, uh, they have European rates. And I think it was like a buck 20 or a buck 30. You know what I mean? It, like the prices yeah. go up. Don't quote me on that. But the, it's just higher prices for if you're sending it from Europe to the United States, mm -hmm. which you kind of have to expect. Of course. So. Uh, but cool. But definitely check it out. Your rates vary. I guess is what I'll leave it at. So, uh, do you want to go into another app review here? Sure. Let's do uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the one we just did. And yes, it is. There was a new release that came out this week from you know the mothership from yep. Google, yep. and it's called Google Plus. Whoa! And I'm totally gonna do a Google Plus review. Review so. that thing. Uh, if you haven't been invited to it or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that hack. They said that they were going to close up the hack or whatever. But if you haven't been invited, uh, go ahead and send us an email at the Android App Show at gmail dot com, and I'll see what I can do. You know what I mean to try and get you hooked into it. Um, but yeah. 
whatever. So let's dig into Google Plus. You can pull up the uh, the gadget cam here. It does do from Instagram. It does? It says it does. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't hook up. Maybe after you register or yeah. whatever, you can go onto their website. and. Which is tricky because Instagram is an iPhone-only app. So Anyway, back to the review. Yes. So both the gadget cam... It's our nice little Google Plus icon there. I have another one I'll show you here in a minute as well. Um, but they they went with the very simple on here. Yeah. Uh, you just have your stream, which is they offer. This is your circles, which means all it, everybody. It almost looks like the original Mac icons, like the original Apple icons. Oh yeah. Like the and the inline comments one. and stuff like that. I like this. I like the interface quite a bit. You swipe left, and it does nearby. Whoa. So it just pulls up some address near us. That's not our address, just in case. Yeah, just close. Anybody thinks they're going to be cool. Nope. And apparently somebody here has uh, the same thing, and they posted a picture. So it's kind of cool. What did they post a picture of? It says, not bored. And it's, it's a, a rolling rock. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're not bored. At, uh, at a yeah. lake nearby here. Just drinking says uh Hillsdale, Michigan. Oh, that's so not, that's, that's kinda far away. Yeah, it is. I mean it's just one county over, but that's still yeah. farther than I thought it would. And then incoming. So And then you have your links up here to uh check in someplace. Let's see, and it gives you a nice little warning about your location. You know, take a picture or just write a post. Uh, the picture uses your regular camera setup. And writing a post, you know, blah, blah, blah. You'll type something in here. And it gives you the thing. This arrow over here, right below post, though, lets you choose circles. Circles uh, are really easy, I guess, is the is the best way to describe this way to divvy up your friends uh, and you can have people in more than one circle so that when you send out a post maybe I only want the Android people to see it iOS people and my professional connections and I can go down here and add a location if I want to uh, take a photo or find one in my gallery and then post it so I'm just gonna go with test and post it. So pretty simple uh, to you know to make a post or whatever. Here's the photos. Uh, it divides it up. You see from my circles, which means everybody I'm following. It kind of creates this uh, nice collage or a nice little running uh, tally or whatever of everything that all my friends have uploaded. And I always got the camera up here so I can take my own picture. Photos of me, I guess that's where I've been tagged or whatever. And then it has my albums down here. So, kind of a cool thing. I don't know, did I see that switch? I must have imagined that. So, your albums, uh, like when you're installing this, it asks you if you want to link up your uh, Picasso account. So, these are all my Picasso photos. And then from my phone... Uh, there's another feature on here, uh, which is automatic upload. So if I go into settings, it has instant upload. That's uh, cool. And it makes it private, but any photos that you take then on your phone are instantly uploaded to your Picasso account. That's really cool. So that's some pretty cool stuff. Uh, well, it might not be Picasso either. I think it might just be Google yeah, it's Circles. Google Circles. Or Google Plus, whatever. Google Plus. Google, Google, Google Cloud. So you can set ROM and battery, you know, only upload when charging. That's cool. Mobile networks, uh, photos and video. You know what I mean? You can set all these different yeah. restrictions wow. uh, for what kind of network you're on. And, of course, you can turn off the auto upload if you don't want it. Circles is where you can go in and edit, like, where people are. 
you know so these are all my contacts or whatever on google plus yeah plus in a circle yay you can put uh you know somebody's email or name in there and it'll search google plus for them that's cool uh, but then you can go through like friends here and just see everybody that's on the friend list cool which i got people on there twice that's weird whoops uh it looks like two different gmail accounts that's their fault profile kind of skipping around that one i'll come back to it this shows you everything that you posted which is great can also show you everything that you put about yourself up on here it's all public yep you can't have a google plus account that's private your photos as of the end of july no private google plus accounts yeah which whatever it's like a tw it's like a Twitter account. You put your Twitter yeah. account on private. You can. That's kind of stupid, I think. Why even have a Twitter account if you got it on private? To share with your friends. Yeah, I don't know. That's what Facebook is for. Well, I guess oh, they yeah. they give away all your stuff too. Yeah. If you don't want anybody to know about what you're posting, Unplugged. then just go to MySpace. <laughs> you know? So the last thing, uh, well, not the last thing, the last Huddle. little feature here I got is Huddle, Huddle. which can be accessed by this. Or they have a, a standalone link in your app drawer. So you'll see, you'll find Google Plus. Here's the Google Plus icon. And then down here in the H's, there's the Huddle icon, which Ooh. is kind of green. So that's a different app almost? Well, it's the same app, just a different. Yeah, it's much like how uh, Gmail uses those fragments now, too, uh, so that you can. Then they give them icons. Cool. So it launches inside the app to that one specific screen. You guys are crazy. So you can start a huddle. Uh, you can add your friends like Dave, Sick Miller, Bostador, Buchanan. Oh, I don't want that one. I want to do this one. And we'll add Brad Re. So hi, test. So basically, what I've done here is started a three-person chat. Pretty cool huh. stuff. Uh, but then you can also go on, uh, like the app doesn't support video yet, but, uh, the, on the website, you can go on to do video chat and it'll automatically switch between whatever person is talking. So if you have three people on the video chat, I'm talking, it shows me and then Brad switches, it shows him. There's not this confusion that you get like with FaceTime where you're looking at every single person and then, you know, you can recognize most people's voices. But there's still that, yeah, sorry. There's still that uh, time period where your brain has to think and adjust and find that face. And this pretty much takes all of the, uh, uh, all of the question about, you know, all the questions out of it. Makes it super simple. Weird. So there's Brad. Hello, what about video? Yep. Video doesn't work. Not on mobile. So I, can time that, uh, I can't do it on uh, mine. Did it email you or something? No. It, well, I don't know what it did. I checked my Google Plus app, web app. Yeah, the web app. Yeah. It, wah, wah, wah. Let me see if there's a link here. Get Google Plus on your phone. Click it. Let's see, here's notifications separate from... Uh, you know, normal text messages, they pop up on here. I mean, at all. So, now we just, oh, look, it says invited on yours. <laughs> really? Yeah, if I go into huddle. What? It's got Brad's icon and then your icon Wait, says invited. Audio Collective? I'm pretty sure. That's what I added to the circles. Oh. No. It used your coefficientmedia.com address. Whoops. I have to that's, change that for what, you. That's what did it. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I wasn't coughing at all today. It's something about the uh, air conditioning doing the show. You're probably right. So kind of like Facebook you have a notification bar along the bottom here Wee. you click on it and it pulls up uh, you know anytime you've been added 
anytime you have instant uploads right here is this top one it shows like a picture thing and then all these are circles so you know these are different people that added me to google plus this is somebody that mentioned me and there's another message coming up there on my uh, thing asking where Dave is. I'm right here. What? <laughs> so, you can just Tell hit him done. I have an iPhone and I cannot chat with him. <laughs> but these notifications are the same notifications that you see now when you go to google.com. And it has them on the top right. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. But there's more uh, for Google+. Plus. It's just not all on the mobile app right now. So if you want to go ahead and go check that out, all you have to do is search for the word Google and then the symbol plus on the Android market. You can download it for free. That is a good free app. Yeah. I like their little logo too. Yeah, and they are actually they are taken on Facebook. It's very Microsoft ish the logo. You think like with so? the different colors and stuff? Well, they're definitely trying to push the circles, but I think that this huddle uh, group chat yeah. is pretty nice. They have the Hangouts where you can pretty much you just register yourself as available to all your friends, and you just get these spontaneous clumpings. You know what I mean? People, mm. other people come on to hang out. Yeah. And you know, just cool things happen. Like Yahoo Chat. It's like what Yahoo Chat kind of used to be before it was all overrun by creepers. Yeah, creepers and bots and all the other yeah. stuff. So, yeah, cool. I can definitely see how, like, somebody at Google probably came up with this idea of uh, how to, like, make Google operate more efficiently. You know what I mean? Sharing yeah, information totally. with people. And then somebody along the line said, wait a second. Wait a second. You know, like, this sounds a lot like a social app, like a Facebook level social app. What are they doing here? Yeah. Wait a second. We do email here. Hopefully you didn't. Yeah. Apparently you didn't get the wave. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody got the wave. <laughs> so I think that they're really onto something here. Yeah. So and again, if you have not been invited, you can email the show. I'll try and see if I can get an invite to you. I can't guarantee that it'll work. I'll um, try and but do there it is too. a way around it, and uh, our show's email as is the Android App Show at gmail dot com. So check that out. It's true. Get Good. you a Google Plus invite. Yes. And um, uh, speaking of Google, new Google stuff. Yes. Let's get into the news. Yes, the big news this week. Uh, we decided to kind of uh, break up the shows over the past couple ones, and this one included into big news and then some sm the quick news. And the big news is our weekly discussion, I think, of <laughs> uh, it's like this is what the most important thing is that happened yep. this week. This is what we think about it. And maybe you'll know a little bit more about it by the time you're done listening to us. Hopefully. Even if it's wrong, it might be wrong. I don't know. <laughs> so, the big news. Uh, will patents be the end of Android? <gasps> that is the question, uh, Dave. No. Let's uh, let's run over some of these uh, <laughs> stories that have happened this week. I have three little entries here. Uh, Google was outbid for Nortel's patent portfolio. Of course, Nortel is a defunct telecom company. Uh, and they had a lot of very attractive patents. Now, this is setting you up for some stuff later, so let me just go through this. A consortium of companies including Apple, EMC, Ericsson, uh, which is Sony Ericsson uh, in, a, in the mobile world, R Microsoft, Research in Motion, and Sony outbid them at $4.5 billion with a B. B, -b, -b, B. Yeah, which sounds like a lot of money, uh, but... I started like wondering like how much do we spend on the wars like uh, this year <laughs> on the budget? So it turns out that it's less than 10 days of war in Iraq and Afghanistan cost. Well, that's the war. Like, yeah. You can't but, put a price tag on that. I don't know. I guess I like big numbers. It's harder for humans to, you know, right. really comprehend what that is. So we're talking about nine point some odd days of war. of war cost. So and that's how much they paid for this. That's reality, people. That's a, it's a lot less than what you uh, might think it is. But Google bowed out at, at that. They they messed around uh, putting in some, you know, geeky math numbers, including like I won't pretend to know what the first two constants were, um, but the third bid that they put in was pi, <laughs> pi billion three point one four one five nine two seven <laughs> billion I think is what they had. Uh, so that's funny. 
pretty funny stuff. How much did it end up going for? 4.5. Oh, so that wasn't too far off. Yeah, so... Oh, well, uh, yeah, it was. That's a little bit bad. Billions of dollars. So put that uh, in the back of your mind. Uh, Google was trying to go for that. Uh, they were the sole bidder against this consortium. All these other companies had to go together. There's some speculation as to like how much went in. I think the Apple was the biggest uh, provider. They paid two billion Ugh. into the pot. So that's uh, that's, that's what pot. iPads get you right there. Yeah, consortium iPhones money. and stuff. Um, so and Microsoft is seeking to get fifteen dollars per Android phone. Samsung sells. Due to patent infringement, so uh, wow. most analysts agree Microsoft only receives five to ten dollars from manufacturers that use its own Windows Phone Seven OS. So they are seeking more money from Samsung to make Android phones than what Window than what they make themselves. If Samsung was making Windows Phone Seven, wow, that's pretty crazy if you think about it. So uh, Samsung's trying to get that get it down to ten dollars. Uh, and reports have been that HTC is already paying $5 per Android handset. And that's probably because HTC still continues to make Windows Phone. And personally, I think that's what most of this, most of it has to do with. Uh, your price that you pay to license it is probably dependent on either officially or unofficially. Like if you are a Windows Phone 7 manufacturer as well. Uh. Like, you know, we'll cut you a deal if you'll... At least that's what it seems with HTC getting uh, all the goods. Yeah. Because they are, you know, that's half the price. The Samsung is even looking a third of what Microsoft wants from them. It's kind of crazy. So, um, Microsoft even has an Android patent program that other phone and tablet makers have voluntarily signed up for. Over the past few days, I think uh, just today or yesterday, uh, Ankyo, which is uh, a tablet manufacturer, an Android tablet manufacturer, uh, Velocity Micro, which you've probably heard of before, Dave. Yeah. And General Dynamics Itronics brand. Uh, they've all signed up over the past week. So no solid information on what the cost is, but it's likely in the 5 to $15 per device range, this analyst says. Huh. So some interesting stuff. Uh, also, you should consider that uh, Apple stepped up in that LoadSys dispute. We talked about this before. Yeah. Uh, Google is nowhere to be heard of. So they are not backing up their developers that are using their Android APIs. And, and LoadSys is suing Android developers. Okay, so Google has signed a thing with Android. <coughs> Google had signed a thing with LoadSys? I don't know. What was LoadSys thing? F what was that for? Again. I think it might have to do with in-app purchases. I don't know. They're software patents, so it could be for any mm. number of yeah. things that you think really. Um, a but buy, a buy now button wasn't yeah. that what Amazon tried to one-click buying? Yeah, yeah. Now we store your credit card, so you only have to click one button to buy it. You don't have to put your credit card in. That's something you can patent. I mean, that's. <laughs> but I don't know. That's what got Amazon started. I guess I don't know. I'm going to keep saying I don't know until I do know. So, would, I don't know, this uh, patent stuff, kind of, uh, do you think it's going to be uh, stacking up against Android? You know, Android was supposed to be a free operating system. Now it's turning out it's going to cost as much or more than Windows Phone 7. Yeah. What do you mean cost as much or more? Like Well, like I said, the analysts agree that it's between 5 to $10 that... Uh, Microsoft is charging manufacturers for their own Windows Phone 7 operating system yeah. per device. And they are suing these companies, and they have big companies like HTC already paying 5 bucks yeah. per device. Samsung, they're trying to get to pay 15 Samsung is countered with, for Android devices? with 10 for Android devices based on patent infringements. That seems a little shady. So they just signed... No, well, that's what patents get you, though. You know what I mean? You hold the idea. Other people want to use it. They have to license it from you. Otherwise, you sue them for stealing it. Well, why wouldn't they go after Google for doing it? Because they're not the one implementing it? Google is it? not, yeah, technically doing this. It's the hardware manufacturers. That's weird. Yeah, it is weird. I'm sure Google's trying to work a way around that, because that's... 
I don't know. I don't know what they could do, but Microsoft definitely seems to be making more money off of Android, Android. <laughs> than their own phones. Especially when you look at some of these graphs that show Windows Phone is still doing one of these numbers going down. Yeah. Android is approaching a 40% market share now. Hey, Microsoft has always been about licensing, so. Yeah, no kidding. Just licensing other people's software now. Yeah. Which arguably, I don't know, is what they did with DOS, but. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's a trend there. Maybe yeah. there's money in that. But I th- I personally think if this keeps up, uh, Android is in serious trouble. You know, it's a serious threat to Android. I don't know. It's kind of like so big now. It's almost too big to fail. Yeah. See, I I'd like to think that, that, but see, they're, I don't know. They're just going to... All it's going to take is, first off, with this, with all these lawsuits and everything, it's going to stop smaller manufacturers from getting involved in Android. Right. So then oh, you yeah, immediately totally. limit it to larger manufacturers uh-huh. that can deal with uh, paying for this stuff. You know, deal with the extra costs, deal with the legal costs. So do you think we're going to see people go back and dev- start developing their own si- operating systems? Uh, I think that it's a very real possibility. Hmm. You know, you have these large players, and I don't think it's right. You know, you basically had a bunch of wide-eyed people, yeah. you know, make a, a mobile free. operating system that they thought was going to be awesome. And, yeah. you know, maybe it borrowed from some stuff from iOS or this or that, you know. Um, but I think we can all agree now that these mobile operating systems have matured enough that they're stealing from each other, you oh, know, yeah. pretty yeah. rampantly. Um, it's like like any software. Yeah, but Generate with this with this kind of uh, patent enforcement... There's just no, there's no competition anymore. Right. You know, it's going to strip everything out. And then as soon as, you know, somebody gets an upper hand, they're just going to be able to crush the competition. I mean, we're, we're going to talk about this on the iPad show, but Apple now has moved on from Samsung. They're trying to completely cut them out of the processor manufacturing so mm-hmm. they won't be dependent on, on them for components. And they're filing an ITC or FTC complaint to block the import and sale of any Samsung device that, you know, has, well, basically any Samsung device, these Galaxy phones, the Tab, uh, the new Tab, like all of that. So Samsung's entire Android lineup shut down in the United States. Shut down. Yeah. Which would be a huge blow. Yeah. So, and that's, it's direct competition, you know. There's uh it's it's just uh it's kind of nasty. Kind of. I wish it wasn't so, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say about it. I think everybody that watches the show pretty much knows my position on software patents. I think yeah. that they're they're unreasonable. Uh we shouldn't have anything. You shouldn't be able to patent speech cuz code is speech. It's poetry. If you want to get right down to the very basic of it. Um but just the practical implementation you have to sue each other. And you have to be a large company in order to get anywhere. And a healthy a healthy tech industry isn't going to have new ideas, isn't going to have uh, competition if uh, we allow this to perpetuate. So, and that's what we're doing right now. Yeah. Uh, and someday we're going to wake up and it's going to be Apple and Sony, <laughs> you know, oh. and that's it. And that I mean, do you remember be... what that used to be like? I remember what it was like with Sony. When yeah. It was Sony and Sony. Yeah. So and when you only have big companies that can play in the patent game. You get Sony and Nokia. That's it. And and people <laughs> say, well, look days? at this. Uh, you know, they'll try and use this consortium as a counterpoint that Google was the 800-pound gorilla and they were going to acquire these patents. The problem is all these other companies in the consortium that bought the patents from Nortel yeah. all have very good patent portfolios. You know, they are in a very strong position to negotiate with other companies. uh, And Google is not. Google does not have the IP. You know, they do not have the patents. Why didn't they just keep bidding on it? They got a lot of money. I guess they figured at $4.5 billion that they'd rather pay for attorneys, you know, to to settle all this other stuff. But. Or licensing, you know. Yeah, so if you have to you have to look at it that way, Google is massive, yes, but they don't have that much IP and so now what happens is instead of being able to say, All right, we own these patents and all you guys infringe upon them, let's make a deal 
it's no Google doesn't own any patents these big companies own all the patents and they come to Google and say screw you you're not doing anything for me get out of the market <laughs> so true I'd hate to see that come but that's uh it's a very real possibility it is well I think it's about time to get on to some quicker news here we've uh hit the big topics and now let's skim over some of the smaller ones Lane what do you got about the little stories <laughs> It's funny that this is a little story. But. Yes, uh, Google Plus has launched. <laughs> yes. And uh, we kind of talked about it on the app review, but uh, what I wanted to bring up in the news part, the Android app has been released. We just reviewed it. Uh, yeah. But iPhone users and iPad users uh, are still waiting for approval from Apple. Yeah. So it launched for Android day one before uh, yeah. mo- before most people got their invites or anything. You could mm-hmm. download the app Yeah. You know, on the marketplace. That's what you were doing. I was like, download the app. It should work. Nope. Yeah, uh, it didn't work. Now it does. Yeah. Well, you they, they've I got rolled my it out invite. pretty quick. Yeah. They rolled that out. They've been open. Well, I got mine fast. through one of the hacks. So <gasps> You did? Yeah. Did you invite me? Yeah. But I did the oh. coefficient media one. That's probably where the problem is. Well, I have, I have, for some reason, I got another invite. I mean, I have a Google Plus account. Uh, maybe somebody else that had you on there or something. Who knows? Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, whoever else. <laughs> <laughs> Now, once you invite somebody through Google Plus, does that add them into it? Uh, there's a thing where you, y- yeah, you tag them on a post, and that you tag their email on the post, and then when they get the email, there'll be an invitation link they can click on. What if you just add them to one of your circles? I don't think that works. I think it has to be on a post so that it generates an email that they get the message in their email box. Because, like, mine, I turned them all off, but by default, whenever you get mentioned or anything like that on uh, Google+, Plus, it sends you an email, which That's cool. is, yeah, it's not my uh, game. So, uh, I guess I'll move on to the next one, though. Another Please Google do. story, Google Maps 5.7 update brings transit navigation to Ooh. over 400 cities. So, then, instead of turn by turn, you get stop by stop navigation. I'll tell you exactly what stop. And it has a handy little GPS reminder uh, so that if you start the navigation, you're like, all right, I got this long train ride. I'm not just going to keep looking at the map. You go back to your home screen. It'll leave the bar right up in your notification uh, drop down like it does normally for GPS if you exit out of it. Or not exit, but if you just home screen and go to another app, it'll still show it up there. Uh, well, this will even pop up with an alert when your stop is coming up so that you're doing something. You're playing Angry Birds. You're distracted. You get that sound, and the thing will pop up on there and say, hey, your stop is coming up. Pay attention. So huh. it's pretty cool stuff. That is cool. And the last. The what? Of, uh, I'm just in a yawning mood today. The yawner. Uh, the last one today is the Apparatus App Developer, uh, which is a favorite app of mine, has pulled their app from the Amazon App Store. So they were featured as a, as a free download or whatever, you know, which was great. Whoops. Uh, that's how I got the app. Absolutely love it. Um, the developer kind of goes on a rant. You know, there seems to be many problems, which... They mostly seem legitimate. I'm not just going to just, you know, throw them all out. Um, But his main beef is that the Amazon App Store doesn't let developers limit what platforms their apps can be installed on. So people with slow phones or or whatever are uh, giving bad reviews for resource-intensive games. Uh, So, you know, on the app market, on the Google market is what it's called. You can, or Android market maybe, I don't know. The one from Google. Uh, your developer, you can limit it. You can shut out platforms so that people with lower end phones aren't going to see it. You know, the G ones of the world. You know, you're still clutching onto it. They're not going to see that app when it's released, even if you have some hacked version of 2.2, 2.3, or something running on the G one. It still knows. You can shut it out. So it's a, uh, I don't know. It's kind of a, it's a rough issue. I'd like to see improvements made at the the store there, uh, especially to compensate for the stuff because it seems like they've come a long way. Uh, and number two, to make sure that that market stays viable against you know Google's market because 
there's just there's not enough competition in this one specific area where I think that the platform could benefit from from these large players. Uh, and frankly, Amazon's just doing it wrong. So, I don't know. Get your stuff together, Amazon. Thought you guys were supposed to be about the developers, and I guess you're not. So, you're not. Totally not. Yeah. Sorry. Well, but I think that's everything that we had to do today. It's all the news that's fit to cover. At least I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so too. <laughs> And you can find out more news at theandroidappshow.com. It is slightly older news, but it's the history of Android. Yeah, it's slightly older like videos. A, should turn it into a book or a, a movie. <laughs> like, that would be the most like boring the social movie. network? Yes. The mobile network or the Android network? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I could see it. Or uh, I guess you can also go to our uh, many social media pages. Mm-hmm. We have uh, YouTube.com slash The Android App Show. That's good. And we have Twitter.com slash Android App Show. Yeah. So you can get in touch with, with us there and uh, see when we publish new episodes. Do they have anything like that for circles? Could we do a circles thing? Or a group or something or a weird or something? Or? No. 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 Just No. <laughs> If I signed up the Android app show at gmail dot com on circles, we could probably friend people and yeah, I'll have to check see, it out. See what kind of business options there are. Exactly. You think? I mean, it's cool that it's like a social network, but social networks really do really well when businesses get involved. Yeah, yeah, but I maybe, agree. Maybe people like that. Maybe they don't want the business in there. Yeah, keep out the man. Only I don't one know. Man in your life. Google. But people have really gotten used to a lot of stuff on Facebook, and to a certain extent, you have to copy things from Facebook that people like. Yeah. So, we'll see. It would be nice if they see. if they pulled like a flip, uh, everything on its head and did like the Amazon App Store and hosted live versions of the games and stuff or whatever on there and integrated it instead of like Facebook apps. All the Android Market apps would be on Google Plus. So. You're getting crazy. It's getting late. That would be cool. Yes. You That's when, when the harebrained crazy. ideas come out. Oh, my gosh, Lane. <laughs> wow. So if you want more of those crazy ideas, you, you'll definitely see them on theandroidappshow.com. Yep. And we, there's more great podcasts like this on the Blueberry Podcast Network, and that's at blueberry.com without the E's in there. It's all Web 2.0. Yeah. Uh, cool. You know, more crazy ideas from crazy people like us. Yes. Wearing tinfoil <laughs> hats probably also. Only in their free time off camera. You know, the room is already sealed up. So it's a Faraday cage. You ain't got to worry about the tinfoil hat in here. Cool. And we're going to be doing the Android Tech Show here in a second. So make sure to check that out because it's really fun. Yep, this week's yeah. review. Ooh, the Droid, Droid Incredible. Yeah, the Droid Incredible 2. Some over-the-shoulder action. Droid Incredible 2. That doesn't work so well. With the magic buttons that when you're in a web browser, can oh. you turn the phone? Uh, they rotate. That's nice. So, good stuff. Check out the theandroidtechshow.com for more of that. Mm-hmm. That review is coming up next. All right. See you guys later. Here you go. <laughs> I think I might take a nap while you're... <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Sleepy head.